What's up, everybody, and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. It's me, That Chick Angel, and another installment of The Bold and the Beautiful. I am joined by some wonderful guests. You all know him as Kev on stage. He's Mr. LACP Image Award. Right? Come on. Uh, my apologies, Come Kevin on. Fredericks. We won it. You did. Also, Mrs. Melissa Fredericks, a.k.a. Mrs. Kev on stage. Pew, 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 pew. And then, uh, of course, my sexy, adorable husband, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank. How you doing, baby? What's happening? I'm What's good. going on? Okay, so today is going to be a little I bit of a... Wanna, I have to pause you. Go ahead. Uh, Panera <laughs> bed, bread, you know you messed up, right? What'd they give you? They gave me macaroni and cheese, broccoli, cheddar soup. Because why this got macaroni shells in it? It do. Is that what the, is that what the soup got? Not typically. <laughs> no, she That's, going- uh, yeah, the, I well listen. Listen, I haven't had like, Panera Bread in a long time, but back in the day, they have in Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's would be a with, huge improvement over it didn't come Panera with Bread, noodles. in my opinion. <laughs> you were like, this ain't right. This, ain't this right. showed me she was like, I'd rather just not eat. <laughs> you don't, <laughs> don't like a sandwich? I don't like Panera Bread. It's ninety five percent bread. Mm. It ain't Panera sandwich. <laughs> He said he don't like Panera Bread because it's too much I like bread. what I got. It's a Is that what I said? Artichoke. And the bread don't be great. Well, the bread bowl bread I need that stone oven, stone, stone oven bread. Stone oven? Stone oven bread. That's that's that. Listen. Oh. No, no, stone, stone oven. oven. In the mall. In the mall. In the mall. Oh, it's Josh. the they focaccia bread. Sandwiches. Josh, you ain't born yet. The you ain't sandwiches living. are made on focaccia oh, bread. Yeah, oh, my God. So Melissa put me on to stone oven. Panera Bread is like. Oh, I'll, everything to stale. Ship it here. Women, you know real what bread is? Women, real, real, real quick. This uh, episode is sponsored by BetterHelp, HelloFresh, Babel, and Warby Parker. Go ahead. Panera Bread is the movie baguette when they go to the grocery store. Yeah, and yes. there's that big long thing sticking out the yes. paper bag. That's exactly what it is. You haven't had Panera Bread, you ain't missing nothing. Focaccia is oh. elite bread, and brioche is elite bread. Oh, yes. So good. Mm. Focaccia is just. Let's look at this sandwich. Woo. Look, look, how, look how much bread that is. And get the focaccia out of here. It look good, though. And it just looked like the bread I gotta is take hard. The top. It's going to be hard. Yeah, that bread is going to be hard. Yeah, that I don't like. I don't like when bread rips up the roof of my mouth. Who I'm not here for that? it. I, white people. They're going to have to explain it to me. <laughs> Where's Panera? They call it Where's French bread? bread. The baguettes? Oh, you should have gotten bagels? Oh, bagels is too you much for me, too. You bagels be boiled? Is that how they made? Yes. I saw a YouTube bagels video of how boiled. bagels are made because, and of course, boiled? I did. They be boiling them. And I'm like, how you boil mm. bread? Bagels ain't it. You don't like mm. bagels? I'll no. eat them, but they're not ever my go-to. I had my, my first go-to. bagel when I had a career and living in California. Nobody like, you ever had bagel? Why? Nothing is looks amazing about this. Now, I had them in high school because that's no. just what the girls had. And I only bought bagels recently because I was trying to uh, try Tab's cream cheese. That's it. Mm. If it weren't for that, there'd be no reason for a bagel. And it ain't even healthy, much healthier than donut. I'm like, just pass me the donut. I'm a little sad because I thought that I had found these English muffins that we have been looking for for the past two years. Three. Two and a half years. Dang, really is, ain't it? Yeah. We went in 2020? uh, Yeah, August. I mean, October Mm -hmm. of 2020. We sure couldn't do nothing that trip. No. (laughs) Well, we were still halfway scared, too. So many people here. I'll never forget us being be in that so lobby. Sick. All the white people had their masks off. We were like, I'm not going to be here. Yes. <laughs> I said, what What pandemic are y'all in? That was, we, like, that was touching shoulders and didn't nobody know each other. We're like, we're not hungry no there more. There was no vaccine. They were like, <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> white will survive. Um, but I found that they gave me the name of the actual bakery that makes the, uh, the uh, English muffins that um, didn't taste great warmed up. And I'm going to get them fresh and then bring You're them. You're on a quest. Yes. Well, I'm going to just go to the spot. No, because the, I you actually want to make it. Oh. I legit want to, like, make it. Let me tell you what being married to Melissa is I like. want y'all to know that this tastes like macaroni. This tastes like the white people casseroles that come around during the holidays oh. when they're like, macaroni and cheese. It's not soupy. It's not soup. It's macaroni. It's, well, it's soupy macaroni and cheese. And they just added carrots and oh. broccoli. Broccoli for florets. Mm, mm. Being they, they unthawed that in the microwave. Of course. What is it? <laughs> That's being married to Melissa, being in a hotel, getting this chips, and be like, I can make these. Oh, I did that. Anything we get that. that's good, I bet you I can make this. I'm the queen. 
She can. She be learning how to do it. She will. She can make drugs if she wants to. Oh, good times. I ain't made on stones. Snowfield. I, ma- I oh, made. It sounded like you said I made stones, but yes, I made scones. scones. I did make scones. It was so Had I been thinking, I wouldn't even be hungry right now. I just finished them off on the way here. I'm sorry, babe. What were you eating? Nothing. Nothing. He's mm. saying he would have eaten the scones instead to fill scones? up. Scones? Their scones are good. Scones. Oh. Their scones are good. Why ain't y'all hearing scones <laughs> right? The, the damn cousins over here. Red stuff be good. Uh, no, I had made some scones on a Sunday or Saturday, Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was it. good. Okay, so today's going to be a bit of a casserole of an episode. Yeah. I That's have what Melissa got. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to go on your uh, Postmates and tell them. This is giving, I'm sorry, I'm not done. Go ahead, lay it out. It is giving, <laughs> thanks to the soup, the soup ain't done. But the vegetables are. <laughs> Add the vegetables to the macaroni and cheese. That's what this tastes like. Yeah, they that is definitely. Oh yeah, that does look like um one of the meals you fix for the kids. That's yes. exactly what it look. I'm addressing that look like no. Nah. No, you're that missing in this is hot dogs. Uh-uh. That look like Bob, not Bob Evans. Uh, what's this uh place that we used to eat at Kenny Rogers? No. Boston Market's oh. macaroni oh, and cheese. Man. No, no, that looked like the stuff. You like Boston Market? What's some things love, I don't I used like? To love chicken Market. pot pie. It looked like a chicken pot pie was cut open and That's dumped out. A, I'm so mad at them because their broccoli Those soup is low key good. Um, they surely gave you macaroni and cheese soup. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm eating this because I'm hungry. Me too. I think that's what we're this all doing. This might be one of the worst sandwiches I've ever had. I'm eating these. That's a part of the bald and the beautiful. The it's experiencing out, things. It's outrageously out of whack. This That's is why all I don't get Melissa. sandwiches there. Don't none of us like this. <laughs> no, I don't mind that. If y'all have y'all ever had hot dogs in your uh, macaroni and cheese mm-hmm. as a kid? Mm-hmm. That's what that tastes like. Macaroni. Yeah, I mean, oh, hot dog water. Yeah, mm-hmm. just it just is missing the hot. This is like a poor person's meal. I yeah. had hot dogs so many different ways as a kid. <laughs> and ramen noodles, <laughs> macaroni like, and cheese, okay. baked beans. You had it in. You might have been poorer than me. <laughs> it was like we do things a little different. Pork and bean, beanie weenie. But did you did you cook a a piece of bologna in the microwave with a bubble? We cooked that on a stove. Bubble? I would That's make skillet. Yeah, no, no we put it in the man. microwave and it would put a bubble and then you put the little slit in it. And so does the skillet. Ooh. Oh, we couldn't touch the stove. Oh, I was cooking the stove. We was too. Young. I was, was cooking my own breakfast stuff. at the age of six. Yeah, Mama had <laughs> killing we were huh? cooking. Okay. We can't yeah. hear. This is going to be great because one of the games is okay, perfect for this. You were in Kentucky. I, you, I thought you were field hunting. <laughs> and uh, what's that called? What when you, you think? Ten thousand BC? What do you do? What? Yeah. Okay. He thinks we're frontier men and women. Let me tell you what I don't know, know about Marcus. And this is what I'm going to tell you about Marcus that I know. Come on. Zombie apocalypse. Frederick's family. We driving down. <laughs> Get our stuff. <laughs> wow. I know Marcus has some stuff for us. He probably got some rations <laughs> and the generator probably worked. I remember I bought a generator because Marcus said so. And he said, you got to get the gas. Oh my God. You got to put the stuff in the gas because gas breaks down. I was like, all right, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> if I can't do it one stuff, time. Like, Why do you have all this? I had two generators, gas in the <laughs> tank. <laughs> <laughs> don't, know how to use. don't know how to put it in. <laughs> and then Marcus told me to break down. I said, well, what's, what's the point of that? You can't just sit so in and emergency thing. uses, man. He said, you got to go out every once in a while and mix it up and put some of this stuff in there. Zombies win. <laughs> he lives for stuff like that. <laughs> Zombies win. Okay, let's do real quick <laughs> updates uh, <Zombies> before <laughs> we jump into the games. Frederick's family, uh, how is the move going? How y'all feeling? We're still married. Okay. Oh, that's an accomplishment. Okay. I feel like there are two tests of all relationships. Boy. <laughs> Road trips <laughs> and moving. Uh. Road trips and moving, I feel like, are like, those are when your relationship is true. Y'all been beefing during uh, this No, move? actually, we haven't. Oh, good, good. No, no, no. He said, girl. No, no, no. We do, we do move differently, and we realized it this weekend. So How y'all Kev, move differently? Kev is like. But this is this is what I didn't say yesterday. This is what's funny about Kev. Kev is like, uh, we're going to hire a team. Fine, I'm cool with that. They're going to pack up all the stuff. Kev is then also like, can they put the stuff away? How will they know? How will they know? <laughs> Wait, where the stuff will, no, no, but this is the kicker. No, Kev doesn't point. I'm the one pointing. <laughs> Kev is asleep. Um, uh-huh. In the car. Are they done and yet? This is, this is <laughs> in the car. Yes, this is yes, this is Kev. I got to run to the store. Why are you gone forty five minutes? 
Kevin. <laughs> I'm not going to be here. <laughs> what are you picking up that we don't need? Kevin. I had to get the, gen- the generator. Kevin don't want see, no parts Liz? of the move. He we, just see, wants Liz? to magically Liz. show up I in his new house. Money. <laughs> Liz, how many times we reached out? You wouldn't no. have to wear it. We all have. No. Don't ask Kevin nothing. The thing right. about it is my dad is here. Mm-hmm. So between me and my dad, the wow. kitchen, done. The boys' Rocking room, rolling, done. My room, almost Kev, done. Did you go directly My daddy home? get my huh. gas. My daddy get my gas. All right, y'all go put that. My, dad, oh my <laughs> dad is a busybody like me. So he sees me doing stuff. He like, I got it. Great. If you got that, that means I could go over here. Kevin's. Making a video, <laughs> laying down. I go in Isaiah's room. He's asleep. <laughs> Kevin. I said, no, Kevin, I knew you was in your sleep. And this is why he went. Because I literally said, can you pick up this box? He, literally, I know his mindset. So she didn't ask me to do about three things. What I'm going to do is get out of her sight. Uh, I'm going to pick up So she could quit box, asking me stuff. And then I'm going to go in this room and lay down. 20 minutes later, I said, where is Kevin? Because I need him to do something. Like, where is Kevin? That nigga bro was in Isaiah's room asleep. Kevin. And I'm not any better because I, listen, this is my true life right now. Put this right here. I don't like it. Can you move it up the stairs? <laughs> no. Oh, then I tell you, them people oh, were so sick so of her. you got to feel like, mm, I got to see you, you first. And that's yes. her. They carried up the stairs. Never mind, I want this in Isaiah's room. She they wants sure to pick did. it up and take it down. They sure did. Well, she paid him. And, and she paid him well. I said, I actually, it don't. Can, do you, can you guys, can y'all come back? Okay. <laughs> now. Take this and put it back downstairs. They are, oh! kill, they are killing me in the comments. What'd they say? You're trash, you're trash. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Everybody in this room, everybody watching this. All right. Y'all now. know. Right. When it comes to setting this up, Kevin, you going to help? Mm-hmm. Kevin, lay down on the couch beside the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's my help. I make the videos <laughs> so we have money <laughs> to get people to do it. I don't want to be in them people's way. I they could. packing up our, our uh, current house. Listen, I'm going to go check on the new house, make sure the internet's good. It's good, <laughs> and I got to make sure it stays strong. <laughs> I thought, let me tell you what I know. When Brad Pitt moves, I don't know how he does it. Chrissy Teigen moves. Chrissy Teigen ain't putting no dish in no nothing. You don't know that. Ask her. I bet Chrissy Teigen said her and John Legend moved about once uh, every other year for the last 10 years. She did. I know that woman is not taking clothes out of no. This is the thing. I am here for people packing up your stuff. I am not here for people putting up my stuff. I am here for people doing everything. Now, I I, I I want to go to the hotel. Uh -uh. And and I want to come back. I would love it. I'll hire a person and tell them, you tell them, put this here. Not there. That's the thing. You have to be so aware of how I am that you put stuff. Because don't nothing piss me off more than expecting something to be here. And you decided to put it over here. Now, I get that. I'm just, I know there are people who are better at knowing where things should go than me. Now, if I hire one of those people, I'll just, you know, I'll relax to you. Now, if it's our housekeepers, they're going to put spl- stuff in stupid damn places. Yes, they're going to put a comb in an African drum. They literally put Sharpie markers in our knife holder in the kitchen. See, that's they, we have a pots and pans cabinet. That's all that's in there. It's actually just skillets. I open it, and I see two children's bowls in there with the pans. And this is me. You don't know how to follow patterns. <laughs> if you open the drawer mm-hmm. and you see pots and pans, why would you put a cup? Right. Just follow the established path. You didn't learn that in elementary school. Which one of these things do not belong? <laughs> you didn't have to circle. And me and Angel complain about these heifers all the time because we hate them. Yeah. And everybody like, why y'all still using them? Because they don't charge us enough <laughs> to get rid of them. And there you go. Their price is so right. We just like, you're terrible. We'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not finished up and do it. Yeah. And I hate moving. People hate moving. Because they clean good. They're clean good. Yeah, I hate moving. I hate but it. But Kev, you got to contribute. No, Marcus, I don't. Did you just learn this about yourself or which move did you learn this? So when we moved from to the Calabasas house, I enjoyed it because it was pandemic and we had nothing to do. Mm-hmm. So it was like, oh, we get to pat, we get something to do because we hadn't done nothing in a while. Uh-huh. But when we finished there, I was like, I'm not doing this no more. Like the fun was gone. I was under the impression that you could pay people and they would do the whole thing. Our impressions were just off. Mm. 
So Melissa's like, she's like, what were you expecting to do? I said, I'm here to you do whatever you want me to do. Kev, run to the store. Kev, pick this up. Move out the way. Take the dog out. All type of stuff. You want me to carry things? <laughs> <laughs> you said, and place them places. You said, I realized this. Once I got money, I learned this about myself. I'm sweating. Because getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process. And this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Especially because you're always growing and changing. Uh, your circumstances change. I, too, am a, love to work. I'm a workaholic. But there are certain things I just don't want to do. And I didn't realize that until I became a grown 40-something-year-old woman. Therapy is about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on a journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. One of the things that my therapist had taught me that was very revolutionary for me, I'm trying to be a better parent, right? Intentionally trying to make sure I'm parenting the best that I can. And one of my sons can be emotionally expressive and start crying and I'm like, what? What is the? What's the problem? What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm trying to figure it out. And I was trying to figure out if I was the trigger. And she was like, if it's if it's only happening with you, then yes. But you're telling me it's happening at other times. And she's like, what you actually have to realize is that he's emotionally expressive, does not have the capability to regulate that. But really, you trying to fix it is you not dealing with your own discomfort of him crying. Mm, that's a word. She was like, him crying is okay. It's age appropriate. <laughs> She was like, you have an issue with it because it makes you uncomfortable. And I realized, yes, you are right. And I would not have known that without her telling me. Uh, listen, you learn so many coping skills when you're with a therapist. You learn how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be a better version of yourself. And just so you know, it's not just for people who have major trauma because a lot of times people think, oh, I got to wait until something really bad happens to me. That's not the case. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited for your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash TBTB. TBTB. Today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash TBTB. TV. Let me crumble this up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Sir Tanksley, what's your update? How have we been? We had a great week with, we had uh, impromptu. <laughs> I know, you like how I jumped in front of you? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Man, go. We had a great week. We had an impromptu get together. Um, my, we were supposed to be just making some meals for Josh and Jasmine. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, last as y'all know, Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we had two other of our friends. Uh, yeah, one was in, actually, no, one was in the area. I think one just needed some <laughs> some company. Yeah, one was in the area looking at apartments. The other one, I was trying to give her a mommy break because she was at home. Her husband's out of town. So I was like, just drop the kids off and we'll keep them. But she like, decided I need a drink of wine. <laughs> she decided to get drunk at her house instead. Yeah, it started off with a glass of wine, and I don't know. She was in there sampling whiskey. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened. She How just you get yeah. There? I don't know. We she was sitting talking to Marquita, and she went in. I fixed me a drink. I fixed everybody a drink actually, except for her and Marquita. She was drinking wine, and next thing I know, she's standing in there by the whiskey cabinet like. And she said, I'm drunk. I was like, <laughs> what did you do? And she had like had a glass and she was just trying different stuff. I don't know what happened. That's she hilarious. Got twisted. The realization is very funny. Like, mm -hmm. hey. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm drunk. She was drunk early in the day. Yeah. She had a blast. She they end up, her and the kids end up staying at the house. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes. They spend the night. Y'all just love that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love hosting people. I went over and the I, like, and I, we about to break like, it up. I threw, I threw food on the grill. Like that's, I enjoy doing that. Like no, he had grilling. a blast cooking. All you gotta do is be like, take throw some food on the grill. We don't know what bet. Say less. Let me get <laughs> yeah, the charcoals going. Tank. We yeah. had an unexpected, unscheduled visit by Kevin. We did. 
when he should have been moving. Oh, and he that's, what oh, that's, that's what I was going to ask. That's what I was going to ask. And when he came back, because you told me he was going somewhere, and then all of a sudden he was gone, I was like, where where, where have you gone? <laughs> I was going to ask. Did the ladder did help at all? Not true. Did the ladder he, help? He said he it came did. to get a ladder. But it wasn't necessary in the moment. So did you come? <laughs> hold on. My question is, did you leave the house and come directly to us and then go directly back home? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I literally thought Kev was like, oh, let me run over here and get this ladder and get I back did. to work. <laughs> I said, man, let me or go. Did he sit and chill? <laughs> no. It's on our security camera. <laughs> me and Kevin were out there. <laughs> I was gone. Trading Liz. teeth. Liz, I went to take the kids to piano lessons because I would have been like, Kev, you need to leave. Me and Kevin were in the front yard. Amar was in a diaper, and we were just chopping it up. I went and picked up the ladder. I <laughs> did my not, back hurts right did now. Did not collect oh, gold. No. I mean, did not pass gold. Did not collect. I went to Starbucks. Y'all got a nice little Starbucks over there. <laughs> it ain't got no drive through. I'm on. I had went inside. I mm-hmm. said, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, I'm so, yeah, because he was out there. Ch- I mean, we were straight and So tea. anyway, tell me about third grade. <laughs> the tea was hot. <laughs> okay, but no, you said something, and then we'll say to the games, but we'll play the games. I'll let you finish with your loud paper. You are a jerk. You said something to us, and I want to ask what I want to ask what the the oh run it. good job, sir. Run it. You made you it needed, inside of a bag, a inside of the that. trap. You went inside the bag too. Yes, your Bowler. jumper looked amazing. You should say Kobe. I'm Jordan. I'm Jordan. Nobody you know, Jordan. Yeah, I'm too old to be saying Kobe. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Angel. I interrupted you. Kevin Not said. So. Kevin said, I'm learning Kentucky friendship. A drop by unannounced because that's our type of friendship. Mm-hmm. When you feel comfortable enough just to roll up on us, we're like, oh, you love Even us. Even when it's a possible inconvenience, it's like you care enough. You love us enough to just pop up. Black behind back home. Pick up a <laughs> if I would have known, I would have been like, Kevin, you know, you're supposed <clears throat> to be moving. I'm thinking y'all got. I thought they were done. 20, I told her. They I didn't was... finish until like what? 10 o'clock? 8, 9 o'clock. We was. No, yeah. It was late. From it was eight dark. To... 8 to 8. Because the John Bones Jones fight came on basically right when they left. Yeah, I thought y'all were like, I thought that your house was empty and y'all were just getting last minute stuff. That's why you need the ladder. I had no idea y'all was in the That middle. is what happened to, to me. <laughs> she said, you should have said in my pad I known, had I known. So what, okay, so you, he said, I'm trying to be a better Kentucky friend. What does a uh, Washington, El Paso, Hawaii, <laughs> Ohio, Germany, Germany Friendship look like? Well, that's a good question. Washington's probably the way to go. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. What does a Washington friendship look like? It was a. It was. It's actually everything you're saying. Mm-hmm. But we except also not had, unannounced. Um, Nick would pop up unannounced. Don't ever come to my Nick house. Nick would pop up unannounced. Coming all the but time. But that was my sister. <laughs> my sister. One time y'all came to the, the to the house before the tour too early. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? We didn't complain. We were just like, they having sex upstairs and we can't come in. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember this. <laughs> you don't know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> She's like, what? I don't. I don't. I came down and Joe was like, hey, are y'all in there? Um, And I was like, uh, tell him we'll be out. He was like, oh, okay. And then when I came downstairs, Angel oh, yeah. Marcus were outside like, no, we know what it is. Yeah, we, we just got done too. Do <laughs> we felt no, <laughs> we felt that no shame the, about it. That was one of the uh, <laughs> times me, you, and Mel was just out front, just chit chatting. I didn't want to start the home and away game because y'all was standing outside. It may have been. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but go ahead. Uh, you said I, Nick used to come over. I don't know. My sister used to come over and wash her clothes. <laughs> oh, we got into it. Remember she used to yeah, live with us. Uh, Nick, yes, <laughs> she used to stay with us. Um, but I was going to say that circle of friends we went to high school with. So they were all like, or it was like family. It was like my sister, uh, Jay and Tam, and then like Kita. I'm trying to think of None of our friends. Everybody was either related to us. Or we were like. Or we went to high school together. Yeah. So, yeah. And and church together. Yeah, and church. So we actually, we saw them three, four times a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, At least one of them. Yeah. We also all had children who were like. Around Within the same months, age. Of, each age oh, though, yeah. like Isaiah's age, Monique's uh, uh, second oldest is within three months or five months. No, three yeah. months of Isaiah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Jay's youngest is three months younger than her. So we had like the eight year olds, the six year olds. Yeah. F- Joe, Nimai, and Joe were within a year. A year. 
Jalen. So it's like, you know, and, and, and kind of at our church, it was like, well, honestly, people don't be wanting kids over all the time. Mm-hmm. So our friend group was like, you know, if we come, it's going to be at least two kids, kids more. So our kids used to just go upstairs. You know, the kids <laughs> sound like they're going to come through the roof. Every Especially time. that house. I mean, them house ain't nothing but, but hopes and dreams and wood and, <laughs> and dreams. <laughs> I mean, them kids used to sound like they are ha- like just smashing sledgehammers and on the ground. Jay had all his kids. Yeah, so it kids was like, time. yeah, six, seven kids upstairs mm-hmm. that were just his. My two, Nick's two. Yeah, it was a lot. But, yeah, we would see them probably, like I said, three, four times a week. Uh, we normally hung out on Sundays. We went to somebody's house or went out to eat. Usually we went to our house. I'm not even going to lie. We didn't have money really to be taking all these folks out to eat. Uh, <laughs> and and then and then on nice days, yep. we would, like, go to the pic- – we would, like, do a picnic or we would go to a Mariners game. Yep, or, or the zoo. Or the zoo. Oh, yeah. look at y'all. All the suburban. free to mostly I will, I, I'll, I, I, I've been wanting to be suburban my whole life. Mal- I bought tickets. That's your best thing? Yes. Uh, I worked at the bank, and they would come in with these little, like, discount tickets to go to baseball games. Uh-huh. Coupon so, books. Coupon books, yeah. And so I would cu- I would buy them. And then we would all go to Mariners. I have pictures. We would all go to the Mariners game, eat them little cheap hot dogs, stay for three or four innings. It was like go to the Mariners, watch them play the the Portland, not in the MLB. (laughs) 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 Them games would literally be like two dollars, and it'd be like on a random Tuesday night or Thursday night. Whatever game they couldn't sell, yeah, they would let you go to that one. Mm-hmm. And boy, them kids didn't know they were playing the Yankees to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Babe Ruth is playing. <laughs> but with all them kids, they used to only last about three innings anyway. Yeah, and we would go. But It'd boy, be cold anyway. I mean, at that, that's why I be telling people uh, being poor don't scare me. I've been poor no, still. No, no. And you had a good no. time. No, you said. No. Don't lie to these people no more. Yeah, because moving, you're going to have to move. Listen move. to me. <laughs> no, we, poor, we staying. <laughs> I'm staying. <laughs> they like, they selling that house. You we, got to go. We, okay, that do scare me. That part. <laughs> moving. Anything physical scared the hell out of me. But other than that. <laughs> I just, have great moving time. is the worst. Yeah. And what's worse is moving into a different size house. Mm-hmm. Like a yeah. smaller house than you have. Yeah. Because our other house was bigger. Not necessarily floor plan. Uh, the floor plan was dumb, though, so not all the space wasn't good. But there was plenty of closets. So we just was keeping stuff because it's out the I way. That's what I enjoy about moving. It's Do purging. you? I love the purging process, throwing stuff away. That Everything seemed like love, I hate. going through and finding the memories Sorry. and the books and the, like, man, I, I do enjoy that process. We did. Um, we I've been on this kick here lately. Well, because of my therapist. I've been on this kick of, like, getting – Things organized. She's like, as someone who has the attributes of someone with ADHD, <laughs> she was like, your environment greatly affects how you think and how productive you are. So we purged the, uh, I organized the, what's that thing called, refrigerator. Then I organized the mm-hmm. pantry, and now we're working on our office, which is a mess. And it was fun finding some old pictures that I was going to bring, but then I was like, don't do that to yourself. Because I'm going to tell you, this is during my save days. We had on all white. My sister had on a hat that looked like Her a punch bowl. Her sister had on a hat that we could fit in. <laughs> it was the Wait, church's were y'all anniversary. Uh uh-uh. oh. Oh, this sounds. We were non-denominational, pen- like Pentecostal. Mm. I mean, we we definitely could like worship with a cogent church, and we Not wouldn't miss a beat. Yeah, yeah, we would not miss a beat. You can join in. Um, you got to be broke. But yeah, no, I'm not surprised that that's the part that you love. Oh Melissa. my goodness, I enjoy it so much. <laughs> and I I woke up, I couldn't go to sleep. Was it the first night? Yep. Um, and so, of course, I'm all super inspired about decorating, and I had this vision, and I woke up the next morning, and I said, so what if we? <laughs> 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 I have me, my daddy, and Kip. Let's start right here. Let me start. <laughs> we can walk through so you mm. can see what I'm trying to take y'all for the future. She no. had it. Um, I mean, it came to her in a, in a dream. Good. And um, I was like, if this was just me, this wall would have been white forever. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never even That's thought you could put art there. I've been like, <clears throat> I'm big time purge energy and paint it white. <laughs> and especially especially white. getting rid of stuff like when, especially when y'all was on tour, the house because we it's like we moved into our house, unpacked, then halfway had to semi repack everything and get everything to the middle because we got it painted. Oh right. 
So the house stayed a mess for months. Oh, yeah, it was terrible. And it got so frustrating to me because Angel was coming home. Because y'all were on the road. Working. Yeah, she would come home. She was on that tour. Unpacking suitcases, go to work, come back, fly back out. So it was just like, especially the front living, like when you first open that door, it's like it stayed cluttered. So probably four times, four different times I got fed up. I went out to the garage, got the push broom. I told the kids, anything that you care about, get it off the floor. That's me. I literally pushed broom from the front door, living room, all the way (laughs) to the point I had to get a shovel and throw stuff in the I'm like, yes, all of this is going. Y'all are terrible. I said, unless unless it's money or a current ID. The Ruly Twins. What gets into y'all where y'all be like, we don't like clutter. I want stuff in the trash away from me. I don't like clutter either. But we do something about it. I do too. Let me tell y'all this. We need y'all to help us. Me and Melissa was having this discussion. The move brought this out of us. We was talking about, Alyssa was telling me I was a hoarder. Yeah, it is a hoarder. Because I keep stuff. uh, Okay. She was saying I'm a hoarder because I keep stuff for a long time that I don't need. And I'm saying she's a hoarder because she has way too much stuff. And it was funny. I was trying to defend myself. I'm like, I'm not a hoarder. There's just certain things I would never throw away ever in my <laughs> life. And then I was like, which is what the people on hoarders say. <laughs> but I don't have a lot of them. For example, I have a pair of basketball shorts that are reversible. Yellow one side, blue the other side. Zay, they're terrible, Josh. This is poor. Is it Michigan State? Literally. No, no, no. He's just blue and gold. <laughs> <laughs> got them probably for the PX. They got the colors of Michigan. They don't say Michigan. <laughs> Look, Michigan said we did not approve. Them is not our stuff. So Isaiah, there's a picture of Isaiah when he's a baby, and he pooped on me in these shorts. Mm-hmm. So I keep these shorts just because I can say to him, boy, these shorts is older than you. And I'll be hanging them up, and I'll be looking at them, and I'll be like, mm-hmm. That's sentimental. You can't about. just look at the picture? Ma, I know you're I not talking. You have a shirt from high school. I do too. That is, I think, only the back side of it. I think the front side's gone. That's okay, but hold on, hold on. Uh, Let's reestablish the ground rules. I'm going to help you. Don't worry. Thank you, Liz. Sentimental value items don't count. Well, that's everything. That's everything. So she, that's sentimental value. What he there just you said. go. Everything on hoarders is sentimental them. value. <laughs> they have a reason for everything no, no. they have. That shirt take up the amount of space that this takes up a lot of time. Up. It's a lot of space. Angel got boxes. <laughs> you hear me? That's what I be saying. Them books boxes we talking about. Of scripts from college and high school, videotapes and cassette tapes. Mm-hmm. I'm out of this discussion. Okay, because no, one day she's gonna <laughs> yeah. hold up, hold up. That. One day she's gonna put them on a CD. That was back then. <laughs> CDs I, well, I ain't bought a thing. A thing. No more. I bought the DV, the the uh, VHS, the DVD where oh, it would do yes. it. I bought it. We got rid of that. It, was though. something else that we had. <laughs> I did. Melissa has. I will say she don't keep no mess. But the amount, the I amount do. of, I of can you stand up? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> she said I want to. The amount of these colored jeans. No, they're not all this color. <sighs> you gonna lie on the camera? <laughs> <laughs> I put Marcus. I think I thought we was done with the. First of all, you share a closet with this person. <laughs> Chef Marcus, Kevin, I'm who are you talking to right Marcus, now? I said, this little piece would be mine, right? I come down. <laughs> I said, you know, I'm going to leave you a little space over here. I come back upstairs. Her, her clothes done bullied mine. <laughs> this star wrote down. They done pushed my little stuff down to That's the side. That's just a common thing. Like, bro, jackets. Our closet goes, starting from the right side, it goes a little bit of Angel. My stuff. Angel. Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I got <laughs> the whole side. For the I whole have auditioned. Look, look. I have. Hold up. We got an entire three foot by five foot bin full of costume stuff. I... We can't find it, but it's in the house taking up space. It's not. <laughs> we going to need them one day. It's costume stuff. It is for, for sketches. Buy it. But we I... already bought it. Trash it. Halloween decorations. <laughs> not once. Have I actually kept these <laughs> Halloween decorations? I pr- no, I ke- no. We kept the same ones for a while, and then when they got ruined outside, they got ruined after the first year because they were stored outside. So hold on, I, I need y'all to help us settle. Is okay. hoarding keeping a few things that you love, or having too much of the same thing? I'm, Don't get Marcus. I, I would <laughs> say you can never have too much of the same thing if you're getting Hello Fresh because well, they bring <laughs> pre-portioned ingredients, farm fresh ingredients, and seasonal recipes right to your doorstep. Ske- 
skip trips to the grocery <laughs> store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Make meal time easy with delicious recipes made from fresh, wholesome ingredients delivered right to your door. No lines, no hassles, just great tasting meals you can whip up and enjoy in the comfort of your home. Delicious dinners are a cinch with HelloFresh crafted, chef crafted seasonal recipes that come with ingredients already proportioned. So all you have to do is cook and enjoy. Y'all already know I say this every time we have this at the Tanksleys be cooking. Um, we did this uh, mushroom risotto with shrimp. Mm, I love risotto. Oh, it was so good. I, I felt real, real uh, chef like after I made it. Um, we love HelloFresh because it's easy. They give us really great recipes and I don't really have to think. I just have to follow the instructions and bam, we got a good meal. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB60 and use code TBTB60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Again, that's go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB60 and use code TBTB60 for 60% off plus free shipping. It's HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Okay. Me gusta la comida. Yeah. <laughs> what did I just say? I like you, the food. I, I did. Oh, food? I'm mm. fluent. Comida, okay. Yeah, that's that babble. You feel it. <laughs> One of the most exciting things about the new year is that you have no idea what adventures you're in store for. For new travel experiences to new jobs or picking up a new st- skill, there's no better way to prepare for 2023. Then by learning a new language with Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language <clears throat> lessons, you can feel confident no matter where the new year takes you. Babbel's lessons are actually really fun to do. And because you do them in such little bite-sized lessons, it doesn't feel overwhelming, especially when you're a grown person like me with four kids. When you think about, oh, my God, I'm about to learn something else, it can feel daunting. Babbel makes it so fun, so light and easy, and you the stuff actually sticks. It's not like it was in high school where you were just like, why am I, wh- when am I going to use this sentence ever? With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson so you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel's lessons were created by over 150 language experts and uh, voiced by real native speakers, not computers. I like that. Their teaching methods have been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, video stories, and even live classes. Plus, it's Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash TBTB. That's babbel.com slash TBTB. For up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. For life. Back to your question, Kev. Clutter, for me, is when it's taking up unnecessary space. I can't it's unnecessarily now taking he up space. Say, he said hoarding. <coughs> hoarding. What is That's, hoarding? Look, you can. You said keep, clutter. Hoarding. If it's taking up too much space, it's hoarding. I don't know. No, that's not. My, I think Angel, my definition. Go Angel ahead. brought up. Angel got boxes, bins, and boxes and bins and bins and boxes on top of boxes <laughs> and bins, just full of shit that can definitely be thrown away. She brought up a t shirt from high school for me. There's many other things. A goddamn t-shirt. To put business out there like that. A many t-shirt. No, there's now, many other things. Now, listen, in her defense, it, it stuff be organized, it just be a lot. I do have a lot of stuff, but I feel like hoarding is when you find excuses to not throw it away. Mm-hmm. And one thing about well, why me. Why your excuse for not throwing it away? No, no, don't do me. I will throw I'll it. I'll do you. <laughs> I will literally throw everything away without a problem, without hesitation. Yeah. Like that one That's thing me. about I, me. I, I, I throw away remorse. stuff without remorse. Yeah, me too. Me too. Our bank account is remorseful when you do that. <laughs> we should donate it. We should sell it. If I had somebody to Get pick here. up the stuff, this is the thing though. Uh, I'll donate quickly too. No, I won't. I'll put it in a box with every intent. 
of donating, and it will sit. Oh no, I fill my, my truck car. up. I fold the seats down, so it ain't. It's got to get get rid of. Oh, the ash. It's got to get get I rid of. Got to like, got to got get rid of. My heart is a better person than my time. Mm, <laughs> mm, come on. Is holding on to the boys' baby blankets sentimental? No, or? sentimental. Thank you. How many sentimental things? Hold on, wait. How many, wait. how many sentimental things? Hold on. No, no. See, that's, Thank you. that's his unruly cousin's Thank bullshit. You. She it's holding it's on to some rude. blankets that they only took pictures in. They didn't clothing. sleep in them things. It was oh. it was clothing outfits clothing that somebody that made them. Picture. No, no, I ain't okay, talking about Melissa, the ones. That, that I'm talking about all the other stuff that no, they didn't. They, no, that sentimental value hospital. things don't count. I have a hospital <clears throat> clothes for them. See scripts. <clears throat> I was right. So when hospital? Melissa and what? when we die, they're gonna look at that crap and say, "Why they keep this and throw it away?" <laughs> That's fine. I'll be dead. Right. <laughs> I do. I mom. literally. Well, you're talking about bins and boxes and boxes inside of bins. I do have a bin. I don't think Kevin even realized how much stuff, like, over the years I collect. He'll be, like, we go to the Oscars. He'll get a little pass. He'll be like, just throw it away. I'll be like, I just keep it. The Quantum Mania badge, they don't even have my picture on it. I, don't I was like, oh, this is trash. She's like, it don't have to be trash. I still have mine. My- That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you, the, <laughs> reason, the reason I know, he I throw it away, was though. able to have his South Sound Seller of the Year thing that he doggone made a video about is because who kept it? No hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> um, Melissa has Melissa, a little piece of. I'm dang, sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, uh, Melissa, what's your favorite song? What favorite is my, song? What? Ooh, or I, a song you like? It don't have to be your uh, favorite, favorite song. Uh, uh, the shoot by Whitney Houston. Okay, we are going to play one of my favorite games that um, that me and Marcus played on our channel twice, and. It brings this man to tears every time. We're going to play with the Fredericks. The Ruley Cousins will go first. Okay. This is the Whisper Game. I'm going to put these headphones on you. It's going to play your favorite song. Marcus is going to I'm going to try to guess. I'm gonna, no. Uh, you're, she's going to try to guess what you're saying. Oh, God. So. Oh, why she's listening I to I got to read your lips? Yes. <laughs> I don't even need the headphones. <laughs> 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 Terrible. What'd you say? Huh? <laughs> Let's exit the room. It's only funny with Angel because Angel, she'll get in your face and imitate your mouth. Because <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> um, um, you look so cute with you, headphones. You want like real headphones? I'm, do, I'm doing sex on you. You brought the kids' headphones. Oh, the music no, these came, came in. Oh, no, I haven't started. I haven't started yet. Okay. No, uh, I, didn't hear you. I didn't know. <laughs> Ah, oh, what did he say? I didn't know. I thought it was already going. Have you guys watch That's My Jam, Jimmy Fallon's That's My Jam? It's my freaking favorite show of all time. It is such a good time. It's new, right? Uh, I think they're on season two. Uh, what uh, What is that? What did you say? That's Jimmy My Jam. Jam. Jimmy Jam. It's Jimmy Fallon's That's My Jam. Okay. So all right. <laughs> I'm getting Marcus set up with what his words. Playing? Okay, hold on. Tell me when you press play so I can say something nasty. No, I know they shot season two, but I don't think they have. I don't know if it's released yet. Here we go. I'm going to turn it all the way up, Liz. Hold on. Let me. But, but, that's what? Okay. I said, choose anywhere from that list. Okay. It's just one Dang, word? This is, this is why it's a struggle because I'm singing the song. Ignore the song. Okay. I'm no, sorry. Huh? Ignore the song. Well, I can't do that. I love this song. Mm-hmm. Into the mic. Laughing oh. to baloney. <laughs> David. Laughing. David. Navy. <laughs> Day. Day. Tank sleep. Day. Chunks. Day. Scare. <laughs> no idea what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> David <laughs> Bowie. Listen, 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 Sean. Hey, Sammy. Sean ain't nothing. Day. I feel like I heard you. Days, days, days of our lives. <laughs> David Bowie. David Bowie. Yay! <laughs> oh. Navy, oh. greasy. Oh. Oh. I, knew, I knew if I lost it, I wouldn't get it back. Shush. I said if I start laughing, it's over. <laughs> what was that, Liz? Shams. I was doing my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do what he's oh, doing. My head. Oh. My tongue I was to going out. to do it times, but that hurt my heart. <laughs> oh my so god! So bad. I was going to do it times. <laughs> 
I was like, oh, we close. We it close. Was her saying it in waiting. <laughs> Chance. <laughs> Chance the <Day>. rapper. <laughs> Days of our life. Uh, oh, Kevin, what's your song? Oh, okay, hey. uh, butt Sex by Lil Butt Boy. <laughs> butt Sex. Uh, uh, do, do Hey Y'all No, no, by. look that up. Don't and if it's a song, this. play it. No, no. Oh, oh. Do Hey Y'all by Outcast, my uh, favorite no, group, no. my favorite song. Butt Sex Perfect. by Lil Butt Boy. And whatever comes up, that's what y'all playing. The oh, Outcast. No, it's the not outcasting? songs. Some people said anal. Huh? It needs to be a song. The uh, context of the outcasting? Yeah. We was playing um, Honey Do, and they asked me my favorite song, and Melissa was like, oh, your favorite group, Outcast. And I was like, I, what did I ever say that? Yeah. So the now, Outcast is your favorite group. Child, listen to the song. Josh, don't. Skip forward to what he I starts know. I, 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 Oh, the, you, the, the one that you don't like when you know the whole the verse? I never said I didn't like Outcast. That's how you I mean. just said they were not my favorite song. song. We'll wait for it. Who's going? I'm going to read to him. Okay. Oh, this is a different song. Oh, this is Miss Jackson. Hey, what happened? Come out, cry. I, Hold uh, on. I, yeah, yeah. Just fast forward to Hey Ya. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It takes forever. It's playing, girl. No, it's not the... Here we go. Uh, show. Uh, Can you like... pick up the phone? Can you p- <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you pick up the phone? Single out, Ken. <laughs> How many words are you saying? A lot. Say it again. Can you <laughs> pick up the phone? Can you pick up the phone? Hey! That right? Yeah. <laughs> that girl said, "Hundred of the Babylon." <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, David Bowie. Bowie, you had can you pick up the phone? <laughs> you can choose anything from this list, Melissa. Okay. Marcus, what's your song? Uh, Cardova by the Meters. Hey, school yourself. The Meters. Yes, the meters, but see, yeah. that's cheating because they don't talk in that song. It's still good music. But it's uh, you it still. It is hard to look, and the music is blaring right. in your ears, yes. and you want to uh, sing that song. Dude. What's really good? Cameron featuring DMX. Dipset. Y'all see dip how set, vast my, set, my genres set. is? Hey. Dipset, dipset, dipset. Okay. Dip set. okay, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me get the music playing. Dun, dun. Yeah, gangster shit, murder <laughs> music. Sorry. <laughs> I yelled that. Diplomats, <laughs> bitch. Oh. Okay. Okay. Can I say it out loud? Yeah, you say okay. it out loud. Can you repeat that? You <laughs> 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 the light skin ass squid. He can. can you repeat that? Do it one more time. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can mm-hmm. you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Yeah! What? <laughs> hey, nice, Liz. <laughs> I said it's the teeth. I, I got <laughs> the lips and the teeth. I gotta watch them. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let me get the song really going. This is one of my favorite games. You all have no idea. Uh oh, it's not playing yet. Sorry, it just got froze. Oh, what's your song? Blow. Tell them your their song. Blow, Beyonce, blow. Okay. All right. Well, hello to you too. Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> just confident. That was good. See, though. like how you not laughing? At <laughs> <laughs> come on, friend, come on. Well, hello to you, too. Well, hello to you, too. Yeah, what? <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to be oh, stuck over here for 35 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Welcome to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Melissa, another song. Oh, my oh, somebody God. said I gave light skin eyes. You did. That's exactly what I was thinking. Was like, Marcus started squinting like. You lift your head down. You squinted your eyes. You were like. Again. You were like, oh, the sun's man. in my eyes. What song you want? Um, What song do I want? Uh, just g- uh, give me a um, give me a brandy sitting up in my room. Because I was listening to that. Yeah. You gave me brandy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hold on. This is going to be a tip. 
Sorry. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> okay. All right, we got it, Liz. I can do any of them? Yeah, choose some. Choose a phrase. Oh. Uh, if there is one. Okay. Okay. I'm on it. I'm parking. I'm on it. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm on hot it. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm on it. What? I'm, I'm on hung it. E. I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on on it. D. I'm I'm on on D. I'm, I'm on it. I'm <laughs> It looks like you're saying I'm on D. <laughs> like how the kids used to say it. I'm I'm on on Hi Lee. <laughs> I'm on Hardy. I'm on it. <laughs> Does it start with the H? No. Oh, it doesn't. I I'm on It looks like you're saying hungry. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm on it. Is it two words or three? <laughs> three. Oh, it's three words. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I'm on on. Because you say <laughs> on like it. I'm on it. It's so easy when you can hear it. <laughs> I'm. Oh, she ain't looking at me. I'm jet. I'm on it. Hot. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I One don't more need time. This. One more I can't read your lips. <laughs> One more time. All right. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. She closed her eyes to read. I'm, <laughs> I'm on. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> on. On. It don't start with the H. On. On. High. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't gonna get it. The music is so loud, too. I hear oh. Brandy sing her heart out. <laughs> oh, tell her what it is, babe. <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, Chad, I was gonna get it. <laughs> the H, you was hearing it. You was I know. When, the I, H. When, I, when I picked it, I was like, hold on. On and it. It's hard to read. On or on. It really. sounded like you were saying, I am Hondi. Yeah, we heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hondi, like the kids say. <laughs> hold on. Uh, well, listen, Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, eye exams, and you can shop with them online or in stores. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. Try Warby Parker free home try-on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free. There's no obligation to buy. Ships free and includes a prepaid shipping uh, return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free. Um, let me, before I get the, to the call of action, let me tell you about my experience with Warby Parker. Oh I did their, um, their uh, try-on. So where they sent me the home try-on, they sent me five different pairs of sunglasses. I got three pair of the cutest sunglasses. I sent back the other two that I wasn't feeling for my own style. And it was so quick. The fact that I didn't have to leave my house, I was able to like, like see what glasses went with which outfits. So it was um, me being able to know in real time whether or not the glasses were a good addition to my wardrobe. And the quality is amazing. This is not stuff that you just find out and about. Warby Parker has amazing styles for every one. So, Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash tbtb. TBTB. Again, you can try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash tbtb. TBTB. What song you want, Kevin? Uh, <clears throat> hi. <laughs> I was, the way I knew you were saying hotly, 
<laughs> uh, hungry. Hardly hungry. Uh, let's do. Um, big pimpin. Oh, that's a good one mm-hmm. by James mm-hmm. Z. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Common denominator: the nigga knew it. Really. That is one twelve. cream. You like it's okay. <laughs> I was like, that is not James Z. Okay, here we go. Do it what I want to do. Let me feel it. I love this song. Hate Slim. All right. Turn it up because I can hear. Yeah. You can still, that's all of it. It's still too low? It's a quiet song. Okay, let, let's find something else. Who's but it? I don't who? need them. Okay. It's like about the yeah, hood. Get you Kid something with some musicianship in the background. Go to the one that's got like 7 million or 50 million views or something. Talking about oh. what's the it's reason. I'm a pimp fit the web. Don't worry, my mind. I can joke no. here. Okay, no. So hold on. Hold on. Let's find mm. you something else. Beep, beep. Touch it. The, the truck. Yeah, I think this is going to be. Uh, Voice oh, yeah. Right there, 4 million. You can go back to the Outcast song. It was this very loud. Had, oh, this is the one. Yeah. Some songs on YouTube are not as loud as others. I thought about Ty Tribbett, too. Yeah. Oh, Ty Something with some good musicianship in the background. Yeah. What the, What did they do? Is this right? Is it playing yet? Hold I on. Right now. Here we go. Is it loud enough? Say something. Is it loud enough? I can hear you. Let's okay. go back to Hey Y'all. It was loud. Okay. Hey Y'all by Outcast. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to find a good one. Okay. <clears throat> you are what you eat, so avoid nuts. Oh, shit. You are what you eat in a forklift. <laughs> you are what you eat, so avoid nuts. You are, you already seen Wolverine. <laughs> you are what you eat, so avoid nuts. You are you are what you eat? Are you saying that? So avoid nuts. So 43. <laughs> <laughs> you are what you eat. So avoid nuts. So or divorce. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, avoid nuts. Of course he's dusty. <laughs> Is this a nonsense sentence? No, it's a it, nonsense sentence? No, it makes sense. Okay. It, it does. Well, yes. They're being funny. So, avoid nuts. So, avoid heat? Close. So, avoid nuts. So, avoid eating? So, avoid nuts. So, a vortex? <laughs> This go with the first part? Yes. <laughs> you are what you eat. You are what you eat. So avoid nuts. So avoid nuts. So avoid nuts. Yes. Nuts. <laughs> oh, avoid nuts. <laughs> oh, that's why I thought that, vortex. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, uh, yeah, you get it. I'm sorry. Oh, that was Let's my fault. Let's pick one of them. Why you say more I, no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, pick that was the best. Say and in my mind, pick she said her door. Oh, yeah, let's give a good one. Okay, Give what me, you want? Uh, something beautiful. That's too quiet. It was not. Tell me something beautiful. It's not. I want you looking at the beautiful. other one. Beautiful. Oh, okay. right, right. uh, That's a good call. Yeah. Lenny Kravitz and Trombone Shorty, for those who don't know. This is just loud as is shit. It, tell me it something? is very loud. No, something beautiful. Tell me bow, something beautiful. Show me bow. something beautiful. Right there. Oh. Right where? My cheeks. Where you see it? They just had it up there. No, they didn't. Leave me some sugar. I am your neighbor. <clears throat> right there. Let's see if it's loud enough, because I don't believe it. Okay, well, yeah. this is okay. loud. I'm not going <coughs> to say it loud. Okay. Ready? Hold on. That can need to come down. That, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> snare drum is loud as fuck. All right. Okay. All right. What did I just pick? Okay. Okay. I want to play 
My brain has too many oh, tabs yeah. open. Nigga, hold on. Oh, <laughs> yes. I was looking at Yes. <laughs> it sounded like she was reading the ad. Look like she was reading the ad. <laughs> it's long. <laughs> My brain has too many tabs open. By the way, <laughs> my brain, my yeah, brain, my brain, ha- brain had has my brain, my brain, my. <laughs> Why is this so funny my to me, Kevin? <laughs> my preg. Hold on. <laughs> I Once you imagine. hear something, you think it's that, and you can't see nothing else. My brain has too many tabs open. All right, homie is the last word. <laughs> <laughs> That's that H and that O. That's that H and that O. Uh-huh. My brain. My pregnant. <laughs> Yes. My prey at. Let it be at, pregnant. Let had. He wants to okay, do that. My prey had. Too many. To be. Too many. Jubilee. Tabs <laughs> 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 open. Uh, all right. I, it's my brain. so much. My Pray. Is that right? No. My brain. Pratt. My my brat. Brain. Pretty. My pretty. (laughs) (laughs) My brain. (laughs) Brain. My my brain. My breast. <laughs> it ain't getting it, y'all. It ain't happening. Look at the tears okay. coming out of We'll be here all day. My pregnant is Mabry. Wait a minute. Tell him one more time and see if he gets it. Say the whole thing. My brain has too many tabs open. My brain. Say the whole thing. My brain has too many tabs open. My brr. <laughs> Is it a B or a P? It's a P. It's a P. <laughs> it's a B. All right. My black. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is it? Oh, what is, is it? That's why this is great. Because <laughs> you be so close, but so far. <laughs> it was my pregnant. <laughs> You're saying. Every time you kept doing the B, but you could not get brain. My brain has too many tabs open. Oh, nigga, you lost your mind. <laughs> uh, Marcus said, Mabry. <laughs> oh. This B. Oh. Oh, I'm no. sweating. Oh. No. oh, that hurt me. My Hold pregnant, on, let me find pregnant. a song. Oh, my God, that was the best. <laughs> Wait, are you finding a different list every time? I said, hold on, she's no, still talking. But I haven't, like, I have not really been able to see okay. anything. Uh, but I am I was pulling from funny sentences. Okay. Because the ones were, um, let me see if this is loud oh, enough. Oh, man. No, I think I got to sneeze. Mary, Mary, go get it. Okay. Erica's loud enough. I mean, Tina's loud enough. Tina's going to take you in. All right, ready? It's your mother. I'm ready. Okay. Those who throw dirt only lose ground. Those roaches are on the ground? <laughs> that was pretty good, though. <laughs> what is it? Who <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those who throw dirt only lose ground. Those groceries are on the drawers. Oh, <laughs> what? Go back to the first <laughs> She was so What? Cool. Those who throw dirt only lose ground. Those returns are going <laughs> grout. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense in a nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> it could be never so be bad. that. It could never be that. <laughs> what are you doing? Those. Who Those. Throw <laughs> <laughs> Road turners. Those who throw dirt. 32 want to <laughs> go back. <laughs> 
Your lisp is getting me right now. I don't know. <laughs> Are you doing a th- <laughs> Those. Those. Who throw dirt. Throats hurts. <laughs> throat is. O's. Those. Who throw dirt. Hold your purse. <laughs> Hold. Who throw dirt. <sighs> Who's that thirsty? <laughs> Those. Those. Who throw dirt. Why she so Uther yurts. <laughs> but why is she so Is thirsty? that one word? Uther yurts. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot be denied. <laughs> Those who throw dirt. Those use who's. Those who. Those ooh. Look at Melissa looking at Adrian. Those <laughs> who throw dirt. Those who throw dirt. Dirt. Only lose ground. Already lose gravel. <laughs> <laughs> Those, <laughs> throws who throw dirt. <laughs> Already. Only lose ground. Already lose ground. Only. Only. Lose ground. Yes! <laughs> ah. It's her cutting into the song. <laughs> Those. <laughs> yeah. That's oh how you persevere. Oh, you guys. I'm so oh, glad we were able to give you time. a right. fun episode of TB. TB. When is the show coming out? So we know when we're switching over. I think y'all might have another. We might have another one over here. Growing Up Gospel is what we'll be reviewing. It's a reality TV show on We TV. Join us over on Mrs. Kev on stage when that happens. Uh, her YouTube channel, I just don't. Uh, oh, okay, first of all, it's called Groaning Gospel. That's exactly what you said Grown? the first time. That's what I heard, Groaning Gospel. Uh, Groaning Gospel, and it premieres. Okay, that didn't help me. <laughs> it premieres. Mm. <laughs> oh, and gospel. This page on March 16th. There we go. So the 17th or the 16th. So that's next week, right? Yes, here we go. Thursday, March 16th at 9 p.m. Eastern. So we'll probably have we'll have one more uh-huh. regular TBTB episode, and then the week following we'll be reviewing <laughs> Grown and Gospel. So until next time, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye! Y'all good, fam.